Mr. Tanapura, let me start by asking you about what the Kra Canal is, a, a canal that passes through the Isthmus of Kra in Thailand. Could you give us an overview of the canal, why you believe it ought to be constructed? Good morning. Uh, I'm Pak Di Tanapura from Thailand. Uh, the idea of the Kra Canal was developed uh, about, about 200 years ago by Prince uh, Surasi of Thailand. At, 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 at that period, when we were fighting the Burmese, it's like, he is like Napoleon, you know, want to dig, he, he wants to dig the canal to send troops to conquer Burma. Unfortunately, it failed. Uh, so the, the idea, the modern idea of the Kra Canal is to dig the canal to join the Pacific, Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean to create new waterway alternative to the Straits of Malacca. Thailand is lucky to situate uh, in the middle of uh, of the ASEAN countries, especially in the middle, middle of Asia Pacific countries. And right now, the traffic of the state of Malacca is so large that uh, people think to create alternative, to build a canal across the ocean, the, between the two oceans. And Thailand is very good for that. And uh, this has been developed for the past uh, 50 years in Thailand. But uh, our neighbors, uh, of course, uh, our neighbor like Singapore is not really pleased with, I, I named Singapore because I know it per personally very well. Uh, well, our neighbor is not so pleased about the, the idea of the canal because the canal will, uh, cut into the benefit of Singapore. So that's what they think, but I think differently. And now, uh, um, 2013, Pres President Xi Jinping of China has developed, uh, has proposed, suggest uh, 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 Maritime Sea Road as a new concept of development. And uh, the idea of one belt but one road is to build infrastructures along the uh, new, new silk route. And, and uh, this idea fits very well with the, the, the canal, fits very well with his idea because it's create a new type of waterway between the oceans, linking the two oceans with the, the sea transport. You had mentioned uh, the Straits of Malacca, you had mentioned Singapore. I think that some studies indicate that 40% of world trade currently passes through the Straits of Malacca, which are very narrow, only of less than uh, two miles wide at their narrowest point. Straits of Malacca is very congested. Uh, according to the Malaysian Maritime Institute, uh, the Straits can accommodate only uh, 100,000, 120,000 chips. Right now, there are about 100,000 chips going through there. Wow. So in the period of less than five years, the Malacca Strait will be congested. And that would, that would jeopardize the sea transport between the two oceans. Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean, which is the, is the busiest right now. It sounds like there's really no time to delay. I mean, if you were saying that within less than a decade, the Straits of Malacca will be basically completely full for sea freight. Let me ask you, what type of international and, you know, in Thailand, what kind of response does this idea that you have been promoting receive right now? For example, the New in Development Bank of the BRICS, or the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, or or China. You mentioned their Maritime Silk Road. What is the response internationally? Is there support for this project 
and also in Thailand? Is there support for it? Yes, uh, we don't have time, actually. Uh, our Chinese counterpart, I think that they can build the canal in three years, which is, uh, for me, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, from an engineering standpoint, it's a challenge. So uh, uh, the, the Chinese are very, very upbeat about the, this project. Uh, all the investment, uh, including uh, 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 Chinese uh, uh, bank BIIC, uh, they are all positive. There's another fund, which is the uh, New Silk Road Fund from China. That is also they suggest that two uh, Chinese. There are two Chinese firms coming in Thailand. And one one is a uh, somehow very long how is a uh, is the engineering firm from uh, uh, from uh, uh, Guangzhou. Long how from Guangzhou, they came to do a very detailed study, mm -hmm. and they suggested the route nine A will be uh, the appropriate one, and they think that they can build it in in. Uh, in three years. Well, that would certainly be exciting. What, let me ask, what effect do you think this would have on on Thailand, on the Thai economy, having the Krak Canal? How will this change your nation? Yes, that the Krak Canal is very important. It's strategically, it's very important. It's a, it's a linkage, not only east-west, but also north south corridor from the su uh, southern part of China, uh, which is the old Silk Road, the, the land Silk Road. So the, the Krak Canal will be an integration of uh, Maritime Silk Road and Sea Silk Road and land Silk Road. So that will naturally create prosperity in Thailand as a the country, but not only Thailand is is will create it will have a, a effect, ripple effect to the countries around the area. Uh, that that means the Indochina, Myanmar, as well as uh, Malaysia and Singapore and Indonesia. Mm. That's it's a, it's a project of that importance, and Thailand will become the center of the of the ASEAN countries. Well, maybe, let me ask you maybe a personal question, which is, this is a project that you've been working on for many, many years. What is the, the basis of your, your commitment to this? Why, what, what, what drives you to work on this project? Well, at that period was, first of all, it was my father-in-law, who was ambassador to, to, uh, to Japan. At that period, in the period of 1973, when the U.S. came to Thailand, we almost built the canal in 1973. Wow. But the, the fall of the government and the political instability has stopped this, unfortunately. Uh, my father-in-law gave me the the uh, pamphlet explaining about the canal. And then the GIF Japan, the GIF came to Thailand, and Krakanao is part of the GIF Global Infrastructure Fund Foundation. And the third person is, is uh, Lyndon LaRouche. I, I have to mention it here because he came to Thailand to speak about the Krakanao. It was perfect. And um, there were ministers and many important people of Thailand coming to attend the conference. That was back in 1984. Mm. Since then, I've been working on the Krak Canal because I'm also very enthusiastic and my family is fully involved with this project. Well, you must be very happy then about the potential for, it seems like there's a real potential for it finally to be built now. That must be very gratifying. Yes. Yes, I think on the uh, on the sixth 
of this month, there was a conference in the south of Thailand, uh, sponsored by a very important military group, uh, suggesting the development of the canal and trying to debate the, the the people in the south about the need to have the canal to solve the security problem. That was a very good uh, initiative. And also we off and on, on, off and on, we have conferences in Bangkok on the Krak Canal. There were hundreds of people, if not thousands of people attending the, the conference. Right now, Thailand is in a very depressed situation economically. So I think Thai government, government would need a uh, stimulus package, a real one. Not to to move the country forward. Good. Well, in that case, I, I feel like I should say congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope that we by the end of this year we will have you you will hear the good news from Thailand that we will have the crack now, and that will change the 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 world in this region and the world in terms of communication and transportation. Mr. Tanapur, thank you. Thank you very much for speaking to our conference here. We certainly appreciate your participation and your, your insights and your, your years of study of this project. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for interviewing, interviewing me. Thank you.